That's tough. Good shot, boy. That shit looking great. Come on, be great, bro. Be great. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Get in there. That's what I'm talking about, Scott. Easy bread, bro. Let's go, man. We got to do what we got to do. We got to do what we got to do. Let's go. Oh, good patience. Good patience. Oh, yeah. Come here. Touch. Touch. Touch look crazy, man. No legs today? No legs today? You know, these guys be going so hard, man. When it's Friday, them legs be gone on Friday. Today, we're at UCLA working with Scala Vincier. I can say 100% the, one of the hardest working guys that I got on my client list. You know what I mean? This guy right here, y'all don't know. He's a little trash talker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Haiti and Johnny's Haitian American, so we have that connection where we speak Creole to each other. Hey, the whole workout, I'm gonna talk Creole. And a life all black like I'm bad. Good, man. good. Wider, wider, wider much. Steps. Good, there you go. Who is good. that, man? Put your name good. and your ankles good. on a hashtag. He just pushes me every workout. I feel like whenever I leave the gym with Johnny, I get better. Give me 10. Ready? One, two, three, yep, four, five. Going to my third year, I feel like it's a very important year for me. This summer has been my best offseason so far for my whole basketball career. I'm going to watch your footwork and correct it if I need to. Good. Good. Scal is a, a different type of individual. He got a different motor, a different speed. I just see a lot of greatness in him. Anybody who works hard and dedicate themselves daily, he spent the whole summer waking up at five o'clock in the morning and working on his body, studying the game. I only could get him about 10% better. Um, the rest of it is more mindset. Oh yeah, keep that ball away from him. Shoot it off the ear and the hip. From the hip to the ear. Yeah, there you go, it's gonna feel weird like that. Good, good. Yep, yep, good. Oh yeah, get in there. That's what I'm talking about, Scott. Two more, two more. It's funny because me and Johnny, we've been really good friends since my senior year of high school, which is three years ago. He actually reached out to me. Hey, he, he saw that I was a Haitian. You know, at the time I was ranked like top two in the country. And for us, it's friendship first before basketball. I mean, we talk about life, talk about stuff that's happening in Haiti and, you know, our background growing up. It's different in Haiti. I visited Haiti once in my lifetime, and I got to see a little bit, bit out there. And, you know, for a guy like him to come from Haiti, I'm inspired by him. Like, that doesn't happen every day where you see an Haitian American in the NBA. I grew up in Haiti. I lived there for 14 years of my life. Haiti has a lot of work to do as far as basketball. I didn't really get to play organized basketball once I got to the States, and that was when I was 14. He's still young. This is supposed to be his senior year in college right now. What we needed is more game reps. So in our workouts, I try to make it more game situation where he has a body on him because I'm gonna make his body open up because I'm making him do a lot right here on the defensive side. He's going here, he's going here, I'm going here, you opening up, now open here, and you going there. Did that step back. And right now he's in a very confident place, and my goal is to keep him feeling like that the whole season, whether we have a good game or a bad game, just keep him confident and keep him in rhythm. I'm a different kind of One, beast when two, it comes time to three, compete. Four, four, come on, this that 2K five, when you don't got no fatigue. You a highlight if you not on my team. I see him having way more confidence than he, he probably ever had in the NBA. That's because of all the work he put in this summer. And we're going to continue doing this throughout the whole year. So I'm going to be going down to Sacramento. If you guys want to see some more work from me and Scott, just let me know. Drop in the comments. We'll be sure to give you guys a little insight on behind the scenes.